Are you looking for the best running shoes for women? In this video we will look at some of the 4 best shoes on the market. Before we get started with our video. We have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at Number 1. Saucony Ride 17. The Saucony Ride 17 is comparable in many ways to our top pick for a daily trainer, the Mizuno Wave Rider 27, it's a durable workhorse shoe that's comfortable on the road through daily wear. While it's roughly the same weight as the Wave Rider, the Ride 17 has a much lower heel-to-toe drop, 8mm compared to 12mm. This drop is in line with a typical trainer. Although I generally save the Saucony Ride 17 for my slower recovery runs, its breathable upper, wider toe box and cushioning allow my feet to relax a bit, I found myself reaching for them for longer runs with greater frequency. I was pleasantly surprised with how my body responded to wearing the cushier than normal for me shoes for 10 mile runs. That nice balance of comfort and responsiveness comes from the brand's Purin Plus foam, which is significantly lighter than other versions of this material. The upper mesh is also breathable, but it provides some additional protection from the elements, unlike many lightweight trainers and racing shoes. At Number 2. Mizuno Wave Rider 27. The Mizuno Wave Rider 27 checks off all the boxes for a daily trainer, it's not too heavy, it has a thick heel, to withstand higher mileage, and moderate cushion. It's the most versatile option for a women's running shoe compared to others I tested. And its reputation precedes it. Every big-name running shoe brand has a tried-and-true shoe that withstands the test of time. Think, Nike Pegasus, Saucony Ride, and Brooks Ghost. When I took it on the road, the Wave Rider proved itself as a winning option. This shoe has a softer feel and a wider toe box compared to some others I tested, which makes it best for daily training. I was surprised that this iteration was as soft as it was, Mizuno is known for being a firmer shoe. Although I was hoping for something a little firmer, which is my personal preference, my feet settled in comfortably once I got moving. I noticed that the front of my feet slid around a bit in the toe box, but it wasn't prohibitive, and it did allow my toes to spread out. What sets this trainer apart from some of the competition is its versatility. It's light and firm enough that, while I wouldn't recommend it for speed work, you can pick up the pace for a tempo run or hill workout. If you're looking for one shoe to cover your bases, the Mizuno Wave Rider 27 is it. I should note that this shoe runs small. I'm a women's size 8, in street shoes and typically an 8.5 in running shoes, and I had to size up to a 9 for the Wave Rider 27. At Number 3. Brooks Ghost 16. The Brooks Ghost 16 is the best running shoe for new runners thanks to its support, cushion and ability to comfortably hold a shoe insert. And people who wear inserts, or just want a more cushioned ride, may prefer the shoe too. Its predecessor, the Ghost 16, was also named Best Walking Shoe for Women. That said, the Ghost isn't as sleek as the other picks on this list. Keep in mind that it's a chunkier, heavier shoe with a bigger heel and a steeper heel-to-toe drop. The Ghost is best for those who want a durable trainer and are transitioning into the sport. It's not as plush as I'd anticipated but it gave my feet ample space to spread out. Some experts point out that Brooks tends to provide a more narrow fit, but I didn't feel that in this shoe. It also comes in wide and medium width sizes. Overall, the Ghost 16 is a worthwhile investment for newer runners who want a shoe that will support their miles and last for a long time. At Number 4. Asics GT 2012. Runners who are looking for more stability and support will find both, plus exceptional comfort, in the Asics GT 2012. Stability shoes are designed to correct overpronation, a common term in the running industry that describes a foot that collapses inward when it hits the ground. Stability shoes, like the Asics GT 2012, provide extra support under the arch to keep the foot from rolling inward. The 3D guidance system from the brand is specially designed to provide a smooth transition from foot strike to toe off. I am a neutral runner, which means I don't require a stability shoe, but I really like the fit of the Asics GT 2012 save for a little bit of chafing along the bunion in my right foot. I felt secure and supported, and thanks to ASIC's Pure Gel technology, the shoe is lightweight and super comfortable, 